beginning of my national team career was way back in 1999. Um, it was actually a closed door scrimmage, and I just remember how excited I was to be playing with Michelle Akers. And I remember how tall she was and how much volume she had in her hair. Um, <laughs> and take you know, go forward a couple years. Um, playing in the WSA was great for me, and you know, I got my opportunity to come in and to a couple camps and each time was you know better than the last and I finally was able to kind of break in, was able to get some experience from that and obviously gave me a shot to make the 2004 Olympic team. The 2004 Olympics were important in my career because you know A, I was just happy to be there. Um, you know I played a reserve role was just, you know, one of those people that, you know, if I had an opportunity to play, I was going to take full advantage of it, but I also knew my role. I knew that eventually my time would come after a lot of them retired to then be a starter, hopefully, if I continue to play um, the way I could. <music> 2008 was, was very different. Um, obviously very special for me. Just being able to, to go over there and to play every single minute. And you know, that Olympics was great because it was obviously very different um, to be in a starting role, but also I think just because we were over there, um, you know, Abby had, had unfortunately had her injury. I think a lot of people counted us out thinking that we had no chance of winning. And you know, that team was so special because all 18 players contributed. Um, we wouldn't take no for an answer. And we just kind of went out there and out of our minds every single game and even in the finals when people counted us out you know, we all came together and were able to go over there and win which is really special. Yeah I've had quite a few injuries which have been unfortunate but I also think that those have helped me to continue to be where I am today. You know not only did it make me realize how much I love playing but it also made me work a little bit harder. You know, I, I knew that I had to go and treat each you know, rehab session like it was practice and that I was gonna have to work twice as hard to get back. So I think that really just helped me to become a better soccer player and make me realize how much you want something and what you'll do to get there. I think a lot of it just comes down to hard work and you know, dedication. Being very honest with myself and knowing that you know I have weaknesses and I need to go on the breaks and work on those weaknesses and continue to hone my skills and to try to remain one of the fittest players, but you know to to work on the things that are going to help me to to stick around and to, to stay on top of my game. Obviously, there's a time to be serious and there's time to have fun. Um, I. I'm always trying to find those, those times to have fun. Uh, it definitely makes my job more enjoyable. You know, it, things are so intense out here that you have to be able to poke a little bit of fun every once in a while in order to keep the environment light. I've been there with the oldies and I'm here with the youngins now, so, you know, just seeing the game grow so much and just the speed of play, um, you know, I've seen every, every country um, the women's game has become so much more dynamic and so much stronger. Um, teams that, you know, such as Japan, that you know you had the most skilled players, but maybe they weren't as aggressive, and now they've been able to put all of that together and become a, a complete team. I've been really lucky to play against some of the best players in the world. You know, it's it's been great. I mean, I feel like. Luckily for us, we have some of the best forwards on our team. So to be able to go against them every day in practice is is great and it's a challenge. And you know, I feel like if you can go against them, you can go against anybody. So it's it's been great preparation. When you have people from all over the world and they're here for one reason, um, no matter what they look like or the language they speak, the fact that we're have been working for four years, slaving away I'm out there in the field, and um, we're just here for the same reason. I just think that that is, is the coolest experience ever. And um, going and watching, you know, 
your country compete in other sports and we're cheering for one another all for the same reason. I just think that that's unreal. What I love about this team is just that it's, it's a good mix of youth and say, experienced players. And I think that we have so much depth. And I, I actually do feel like, you know, once again, the great thing about this team is that we all get along. And I know that, you know, we harp on the fact that, you know, we're, we're family, but we are. And, you know, I feel like when you get along off the field, then great things are going to happen on the field. So hopefully this time around, it's, it's another great Olympics for us.